Teaching English to young learners, adolescents, and adults involves understanding the distinct challenges each age group presents and employing appropriate strategies to address them. Let's explore these issues in detail and examine effective solutions. Young learners. Teaching English to young learners, typically aged 3 to 10, is both rewarding and challenging. One major problem is their short attention span. Young children are naturally curious and energetic, but they struggle to focus on a single activity for long periods. To combat this, lessons should be dynamic and varied, incorporating a mix of songs, games, stories, and hands-on activities. For instance, using puppets or props can make storytelling sessions more engaging, while incorporating movement into lessons can help keep their interest alive. Another challenge is their limited vocabulary, both in their native language and in English. To address this, teachers should use plenty of visual aids such as flashcards, pictures, and real objects to introduce new words. Interactive activities like matching games, picture bingo, and show and tell can also help reinforce vocabulary. Additionally, Repetition is key. Revisiting words and phrases regularly through different activities ensures better retention. Young learners might also lack intrinsic motivation to learn English, as they do not yet understand its long-term benefits. To foster motivation, it's crucial to make learning fun and rewarding. Implementing a system of rewards and positive reinforcement can encourage participation. Simple rewards like stickers, praise, or extra playtime can be very effective. Since children develop at different rates, teachers often encounter varied developmental levels within the same classroom. Differentiated instruction can help cater to these diverse needs. Activities should be designed with multiple levels of difficulty, allowing each child to engage at their own pace. Grouping children with similar abilities for certain tasks can also be beneficial. Pronunciation can be particularly challenging for young learners due to the unfamiliar sounds in English. Incorporating phonics into the curriculum can help. Activities that focus on the sounds of letters and simple words, such as phonics games, rhyming activities, and tongue twisters, can improve pronunciation. Additionally, regular listening and speaking practice through songs, chants, and simple dialogues can familiarize children with English sounds. Adolescents Teaching English to adolescents, usually aged 11 to 18, brings a different set of challenges. Peer pressure is a significant issue. Teenagers are often afraid of making mistakes and being judged by their peers. Creating a supportive classroom environment where mistakes are normalized as part of the learning process is essential. Encouraging a growth mindset and emphasizing effort over perfection can help reduce this fear. Group activities and pair work can also create a more comfortable atmosphere for practicing English. Adolescents might also struggle with a lack of interest in learning English if they don't see its relevance. To engage them, lessons should be relevant to their lives and interests. Using contemporary topics, multimedia resources, and real-world applications can make lessons more appealing. For example, discussing current events, incorporating technology, or exploring English through music, films, and social media can capture their interest. Self-esteem and identity issues are prevalent during adolescence making them sensitive to criticism. 
providing constructive feedback that focuses on their progress and strengths, rather than just their mistakes, can boost their confidence. Setting achievable goals and celebrating their successes, no matter how small, can also enhance their self-esteem. Behavioral issues can disrupt the learning environment. Establishing clear rules and routines from the beginning helps manage behavior. Engaging lessons that actively involve students can also minimize disruptions. Additionally, involving students in the creation of classroom rules can give them a sense of ownership and responsibility. Adolescents are transitioning from concrete to abstract thinking, which can make some language concepts challenging. Activities that promote critical thinking and problem solving, such as debates, discussions, and project-based learning, can help them apply their developing cognitive skills to language learning. Providing real-life contexts and examples for abstract concepts can also make them more understandable. Adults. Teaching English to adults presents unique challenges as well. Many adult learners come with a fear of failure and being judged, often rooted in past educational experiences or personal insecurities. Creating a non-judgmental and supportive learning environment is crucial. Emphasizing that making mistakes is a natural part of learning can help alleviate this fear. Peer support and collaborative learning activities can also create a more relaxed atmosphere. Time constraints are another significant issue for adults, as they often juggle work, family, and other responsibilities. Offering flexible learning options, such as evening classes, weekend sessions, or online modules, can accommodate their busy schedules. Blended learning approaches that combine in-person and online activities can also provide the flexibility they need. Adults may have fixed learning patterns and habits that are hard to change. Tailoring instruction to suit their individual learning preferences can make the process more effective. Incorporating a variety of teaching methods, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic, can address different learning styles. Additionally, encouraging self-directed learning through goal setting and personalized learning plans can empower adults to take control of their learning journey. Balancing life responsibilities can lead to stress and decreased motivation. Providing resources and support for managing time effectively, such as time management workshops or stress relief activities, can help. Creating a sense of community within the class can also provide emotional support and motivation. Adult learners often have diverse educational backgrounds and learning speeds, resulting in varying levels of proficiency. Conducting needs assessments at the beginning of the course can help identify their specific needs and tailor instruction accordingly. Grouping learners with similar proficiency levels for certain activities and providing individualized feedback can ensure that each learner receives the support they need. In summary, teaching English to young learners, adolescents, and adults involves understanding the unique challenges each group faces and employing age-appropriate, effective strategies. By creating engaging, supportive, and flexible learning environments, Teachers can address these challenges and facilitate successful language acquisition for all learners. That's all for today's episode. If you have enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and leave a review. Also, feel free to send us any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes. You can reach us through our website or social media pages. Thank you for listening. And until next time, keep learning and keep smiling.